Hello to all the meeps and bubbles and welcome back to a new let's play. This time we are going to do something different. We are going with the harder asteroids to the right. These are the new clusters that the game added in the last update and they are really really tiny. So we have 5 tiny asteroids in the near vicinity of our main radioactive ocean asteroid with survivability slim. So I guess this could be funny. Lush core and subsurface ocean. Then let's start the game. Hey guys, I rolled for around 15 minutes and now I finally have the duplicates that we need for this run. And as you may have already seen in the thumbnail or the title, this is also going to be an achievement run. But only for three different difficult to achieve achievements. What a sentence. We got a locavore achievement which has us produce 400,000 kilocalories of food without planting any seeds in planter boxes, farm tiles or hydroponic farms. At the same time, we can get the carnivore achievement which will have us eat the same amount of calories but until the 100th cycle and it has to be critter meat. This is going to be very difficult. We also want the super sustainable. We have to generate this much power without using any of the classic methods for that. But we can use hydrogen, solar, manual power and maybe atomic power. So let's take a look at the dupes that I rolled so hard for. We got Mima, our rancher and animal lover. Nisbet, researcher, plus 12 science. A loner, meaning plus 4 bonus to all attributes if this is the only dupe on the asteroid. This is super helpful if we send Nisbet away and then she's going to be our researcher on that planetoid. Also increased air consumption rate, but since she will be the only one on that planetoid that shouldn't be the problem I guess. And we got Turner, our digger and excavator. Early bird plus two morale in the morning as well as bottomless stomach. This is actually helpful in this playthrough because Turner will eat more and we need the dupes to consume 400,000 calories. So why not? We're gonna name the colony Carnivorous and Embark. Here we are, let's start right away and then check our surroundings. As well as set the priorities and other stuff. We got a couple of pips and some pockets with food, a water pocket to the right and a water pocket downwards. So I guess it is easier to get to the water pocket to the right to set up our bathrooms. Like this. Then we go to the plumbing, place down the pitcher pump, right here. And so that every duplicant has something to do, we're going to increase the size of this so we can place down our bathrooms in the future. Here on the left the duplicants are already finished so we can keep on going with the bathroom. I want to leave a little bit of space here, then one ladder space, one for the sliding pole, then a door. Now we can start with a bathroom, two wash basins and two toilets. Nice, this worked perfectly fine. One tile here and maybe place down the ladders here. I am always only using two toilets and two wash basins in the first cycle so that the duplicants can finish it without a problem. One duplicant is eating and the other two are using the bathroom. We do have enough time to get the bedrooms done so we can place down a door, make two tile high rooms, replace the oxalite with a solid floor, wait for the duplicants to dig this up and then place the cots inside of it. The bathroom has been finished so we can set the wash basin to right so the dupes only wash their hands if they go out of this room. Also we can open this door permanently. The bedroom is being dug out and we do have enough time left to place down our research station. As always right next to the printing pot because the printing pot is giving off light and dupes work 10% faster when they are in a lit environment. Then we only need power and a manual generator, but I guess they can't get that done in this cycle. So we are going to set the priority of this lower than everything else. Also food should be collected and now we can set the priorities and the schedule for the duplicants. For the priorities, since we very carefully chose the attributes of our dupes, each dupe will get what they are good at. Except for our digger, he will also be a builder dupe. We do not want to forbid the research but set it to a low priority for the other duplicants. In contrast to that, no new dupe should do the farming. Because farming is not allowed in this run and I do not want to risk it. Also, as I learned from you, toggling very important, so set this to a high priority for every dupe. Then we can enable the proximity right here and go to the schedule. I arranged the schedule as you can see here 
Turner is a morning person so he will work in the morning. I cut one bedtime slot because the dupes will sleep until they are well rested even with two bedtime slots. This bit will be on another planetoid pretty soon so this should be fine. Now we can watch the duplicants dig out and finish the bedroom so that every single duplicant has their own bed to sleep in. The overlapping shift is also helping with our Nisbet finishing the bedrooms while Mima is munching away. Then it's time for the bathroom. As soon as the next cycle began, Turner and Mima already finished building the hamster wheel. Now that it is time for the research, let me explain to you why this asteroid is harder than it seems with a survivability of slim. We cannot produce oxygen with algae because we don't have any algae around here. That means we cannot produce oxygen using the oxygen diffuser, so that is out of the question. The sublimination station can also not be used because we don't have mud on this map. So our only oxygen option right now are these oxyferns right here. These oxyferns produce oxygen if they consume carbon dioxide. So our dupes exhale carbon dioxide, these plants take it consume it and convert it into oxygen. The problem being, we can't plant any seeds in planter boxes, otherwise we fail our achievement if I understood that correctly. Secondly, we can't build co-generators, because we fail the other achievement that we are trying to achieve, the super sustainability. So these are also out of the question. This only leaves us with the electrolyzer, hence the long explanation. So research station, research, plumbing, air systems, and let the duplicants handle the rest. Before the dupes get idle, let's place down another battery, grab the cable and one more cord for when the next duplicant will arrive in the base. We can also dig down and up. Let's go up first and make this a little bit wider. Since we have this much pips, one pip, uh, two, three, four, five pips, we can use the pips so they plant the oxyferns, so we did not plant it. And let the carbon dioxide sink down into this pocket, connect it up with a ladder, so that we may get a little bit of oxygen for free. And how much oxygen do we get? Each oxyfern, wild grown, emits 7.8 grams per second. So we need around 12 to 13 of those oxyferns to supply a single duplicant. But since this is basically free oxygen, we let the duplicant dig up the seeds and let the pips plant them further down in our base where the carbon dioxide will accumulate. Let's take a look at the gas overlay. For now the carbon dioxide is only in this pocket right here, but in the future it will be collected in this pocket down there. Let's keep on going with the dig and make this a little bit bigger. Also we can already prepare the ladder to up here so that we can send this bed over to another planetoid. Since I deactivated the farming skill for the duplicants, they cannot uproot plants. That's why I'm digging up the tile that they are standing on. This is way quicker also by the way. I'm going to dig these up because oxygen up here will not be helpful. We need to replant them down in the base or to be more exact, the pips need to replant them. Here we can see when the priorities do not work, Turner is researching, we don't want Turner to research and Nisbet is running on the thread mill. That should not be how this works, Turner please go away, stop that, let's go to the priorities and maybe disallow that completely for the stoops. Now Nisbet is researching again. And because Turner was of no use right now, we can place down a pitcher pump and already prepare for when we need the electrolyzer set up. Bring that over and let it stop somewhere around here. Connect up the cable and place down a ladder, like so. Back at the research, it is time for the advanced research because we need a supercomputer. Otherwise, we will have no access to the ranching skill tree. Here you can see the classic culprit that won't let our duplicate sleep. It is a shine bug and the dupes can't get their eyes closed. So Nisbet, stop munching and go get rid of that shine nymph. Okay, that works too. And <laughs> Mima had enough of it. In the upper parts of the base, I have Turner build a ladder so we can send Nisbet over to another planetoid so she gets plus four to every single one of her traits, which will make her the best researcher ever, I guess. Down here in the base, I gave the duplicates more digging orders so they have something to do. And up here, same thing, but we want the access to the teleporter. 
Sadly, this was granite, so I had to dig around, gave the dupes a higher priority for those ladder paths, and then we can send Nisbet over so she's alone on her own planet. Okay, research has been done, so let's check that. How far has Nisbet come? Already researched the supercomputer. So is it worth it to build it on this planetoid? Probably not. So maybe we can already research basic farming and meal preparation. There we go. Personal teleporter. See destination. Oh man, we got a flipped asteroid with a magma on top. Let's take a look. Yes, this is the upside down planet where the magma is on the top. Okay, this is not the easiest one. So Nisbet, have a good time there. Let's inspect this. Nice. Data banks. In case you are wondering what those data banks are for, they are for research. When you needed plastic before and the uh, orbital research, now you need data banks and data banks can be produced one way in the orbit or by researching geysers and other stuff. So this one gave us one data bank. If we click on the teleporter receiver and on inspect, we do get another data bank. Same for the robotic research desk inspect. How many did we get? One data bank and the robotic arm, one data bank. Okay, I see a pattern. You get my gist. Nice, it is already time for a new printable. We got an agricultural duplicate. Well, not helpful. Uh, kitchen manners and cooking. Yeah, super great game, super great. And Camille, art, medicine, and a little bit of science. So we have a second researcher, that is good, but with decreased science. So a dumb scientist, a kitchen menace that is a cook and someone that wants to farm, but can't. Uh, those choices. Camille, welcome to the base. And this is your bed now. And now before the end of the third cycle, we can send Nisbet to another planetoid. That is pretty quick. Teleport. There you go, Nisbet. And here she is printed. Since Nisbet will have to survive here on her own, let's first dig this up and get a little bit material so she can build her own bed. Cut this, get material for your bedroom. How's the temperature here? Temperate, that is nice. So dig this out, this will be your bedroom. And we need a bathroom. Let's check the water sources. Here's a water source and here. So why not use this? Place on a ladder right here and make this a door. Then we make this the bedroom and the bathroom. This should be enough space for that. The dupes on the main planetoid made quick work out of the areas that I told them to dig up. So we can give them even more areas that they can destroy and prepare for more duplicates. Yeah, like so. I had to stop the game here because Nisbet's bladder is becoming very full. So let's see if we can cramp in an outhouse somewhere around here. And um, maybe it is better here than a wash basin, a door and a bed, like this. But the highest priority goes to the toilet and um, digging this up probably. Okay, maybe let's cut this and dig this up first. Is it just me or does this bit seem a little bit stiff in her movements? Yep, yeah, she is definitely stiff. The heck? And how else could it be? On the main planetoid, we have another shy nymph. Where are they coming from? I thought I killed the last one. Oh, we have a hedge. Super nice. We do need the hedges. Come on, Nisbet. Yeah, nice. Ah, okay, the problem here is Nisbet can't dig the abyssalite. Should have known that. Didn't know it touched it. Pitcher pump, one tile deeper, that should be fine. Make this a high priority and place one tile here. So this is a bedroom. We don't want to defrost that duplicate, but what we do want is a research terminal for Nisbet. So place down the supercomputer somewhere around here. Deconstruct, deconstruct the ration box because we can place down the ration box in this cold biome to the left. Dig this up and Nisbet has to produce her own power. The batteries can be placed here, connected up, because I also want to place down this research station. Good job, Nisbet. Now we just need to place down the ration box. We can give her access to the meal wood here, so she at least gets a little bit more calories. But she probably will have to eat the disgusting stuff that comes out of the microbe musher. So we need to connect that up too. We need dirt and water for that. 
Here on the main asteroid I want the duplicants to expand to the right and downwards so we can use this as a future range. This may be a future range this year also because our pips will have to eat arbor trees and since we can't plant the arbor trees the pips need to plant them themselves. Also to the right here because we need a lot of material and this is the best way I can think of that the duplicants are busy and we can get material in the same time. And here the research is in progress so we can keep on going with the achievements. Here at Nisbet's Fortress of Solitude I find it very amusing that the storage container is actually deep frozen. When you don't need it you get it for free and when you need it you have to work for it very hard. In case you were wondering, Nisbet's science level is at plus 16 at the moment. That is a plus 640 research speed. To set this into perspective, that's 6.4 duplicants worth of research. On the main asteroid I skipped the bedtime, the dupes are now back to work and now we are waiting patiently for the dupes to finish the research so we can finally build the electrolyzer that we need. As you can see by this oxygen overlay. Ah, I almost forgot. Nisbet needs one of those mini pots and since this is pretty crowded down here, why not place it up there. Let's check the rock, sedimentary rock, that is no problem. So place down the ladder and close this off with a door later on so it counts as the bedroom again. Also, Nisbet is totally ignoring me by the way. There we go. Let's see. Inspect this. Activate this. Nisbet, you stay here to activate it. This will take a while. In the main, the dupes have gotten pretty far and a little bit of research has been done. So we do have access to the water cooler now, if I find it here, and the mess table. So we can create a great hall for our duplicants to eat in. Maybe we just use this free space right here. The pip planted something again. Checking back on Nisbet, Nisbet activated the mini pod, but sadly she did not gain a skill point yet, so no advanced research for Nisbet. I could give it to Camille, but I want to save Camille for improved farming and then the critter ranching. I created the duplicants a little mess hall. It could be a great hall if we find the space or if we find the decor item we can place in that has plus 20 decor. And we probably don't want a plant because I'm not sure if I can plant seeds in a planter box even if they cannot be eaten. Just to be sure we just leave them out completely. In order to reduce the wet feet of Nisbet I let her dig down here a little bit so that there is no water on the pitcher pump. But uh, she managed to trap herself so not very smart in this bit. Okay I came up with another design for a mess hall. I'm not sure if this will work but let's try it out. As it is right now we should keep our bedroom as well as get a mess hall and the dupe has to sit underneath the door with little headspace. Let's open this up. Oh, and we got a skill point. Hopefully it is Nisbet. Nice. Advanced research for Nisbet. And she will get the advanced research head. Let's see if we can give that seed to Nisbet. Game. Oh, she's so happy. Nice Nisbet, very nice. Hey guys, you have the power to decide how well this let's play will do. So if you want to support me, just give it a like. Maybe write something down in the comment section. And be sure to watch the next episode. Love you guys and Luma out. Hey and because I'm always honest with you guys, these are the mods that I have activated. The Pliers Fixed mod and the Achievement Enabler. Because I do a lot of shorts testing in the background each day, I do have to use the debug mode. And because I have the debug mode enabled, I can't get any achievements. But because I want to get some achievements done this let's play, I have to get this mod.